He tells you where to go, and then you can shove your off off or you know where. <laughs> and then I say, this is a real story, actually. This is so true. And so then when I go to you, Don, I go, you know, my client really loves your house. He thinks it's amazing. <laughs> And, uh, you know, he thought your counter offer was very fair, but he just thought maybe he should make some of these changes in order to try to, you know, make this go a little bit faster. What do you think, Don? Why Why do you feel that they're dishonest? Why, why so much hatred towards this uh, field of expertise? These highly educated not, experts. These highly hatred, educated and fully licensed. Uh, yeah. ec- fully vetted. Experts. Fully vetted. Yeah. yeah. By the way, there was a guy in Ontario this week who was a realtor but he got refused his mortgage license. It was in the news because he lied and said that he had never had a disciplinary hearing and from any other governing body. But in 2017, he showed a property to his clients and then he came back the next day, used a lockbox codes and broke into the seller's house again without a confirmed appointment. And he got fined for that. And then during his mortgage <laughs> application, when he said that he had no criminal charges, he was on charges, which he was later, um, uh, you know, they they drop the charges of, of domestic uh, assault, and uh, you know he he he, he that, that was those were allegations, and they were never proven in court. But his mortgage license was denied. So look, we got the finest characters in the real estate industry, Don. So please go ahead, tell me tell me yeah. your opinion. Okay, so here's my personal dealings with them. Right, I've been in construction, I've been around, I see what they do. They come into houses that are built like shit, and they're like, oh my god, this is amazing, and then they're gonna write. A nice little synopsis of it and try to convince you to spend more, right? But how how do they do that? It's uh, easy. They, People the have been emotional for the past 10 years. Hey, we're gonna make more money on this, right? You're gonna make more money. Don't worry, prices go up. Price you can afford to book a 20, 20, 30, or sorry, 20, 30 price because we know that prices are gonna go up. Prices always go up. Spend more, spend more, spend more. You see this house? It looks great. Okay, TK, are you a electrician? No, but I'm blind. Legally. Are Are you a carpenter? Uh, no, but uh, I have two left hands. Hold on, it's all good. It's all good. Are many realtors, carpenters, electricians, masons, any sort of trade? No. Um, no. They're not. So they should stop giving opinions on what these houses are really like. Because I'm telling you right now, a good chunk of Canada's housing stock is built like tree forts. And everyone's running around trying to charge Lamborghini prices on a 1996 Cavalier. Mm. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So realtors are trying to sell their clients' homes for for more money. And so they shouldn't be talking about the construction. Okay. Good. That Well, as like a service guy, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into somebody's house and like, but the realtor said it would be okay. Why are you taking the realtor's Mm. advice on construction? They don't know. Like, what's your course? Like a six week, six month course? Like, whoa, slow down, slow down. This is a one sorry. day exam here. That's all it is. <laughs> is it? Yeah, is six it? months. Geez, I, mine was open book. I don't know what I yeah, did in between but... those exam dates, but uh, I just brought the book it's with fine. me. Fine. The forms, you know, this is how it worked for me back then. Were you allowed to write Wait, on the you know back of your mean? hand? I wrote inside the book on your on your on in the book. It's an open book. You got to bring the <laughs> book. I made all my notes. I brought the book. I call. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I got my real estate license now. They changed that. Obviously, it's much more, uh, much more advanced. But, but you, okay, would you like my personal story about when we bought our family home, uh, February 2020? Yes. yes. Okay, so number one, I'm Scottish, so I don't like just giving people I, my money. No, like you know what I mean. Well, yeah, just Jewish throw an extra like hundred grand that. on it. Why? Like, so either which way, we've been looking for months, like in 2019, like even 2016, 2017, we're going, we're looking at houses, but our baby was born in December, 2019. So it's time to settle down. Let's buy a house, right? Okay, no problem. So I'm an electrician. I can move anywhere. So we started shopping communities more than houses, really. And we find a community we like. And uh, we start looking at houses and I'm looking at these houses and I'm like, yeah, okay, well, here's your bullshit here and there's your bullshit there. And they're like, oh, no, that doesn't really exist. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So the wife likes the one house. So, okay. Hold on. What just what happened there? What, what just at. happened there? What was the, what was the dialogue there? I didn't follow. Just all the, the shoddy workmanship. The shoddy workmanship. Out and the realtor okay. was just like, don't look over there. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Well, 
Okay, God. Yeah, I've seen the laundry they're room. trying to tell me I don't know construction, right? They're like, what oh, the no, that's fuck? fine. I'm like, this house has obviously had a fire. They don't know who you are, right? <laughs> they don't know who they're talking to. What's going on here? So so they, they swindle you into buying the house? No, 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 no. You're too smart okay, for that. So what happens swindle is, Dawn. Okay, yeah. My grandma was Scottish. You can. Every, everyone's swindleable. Swindleable? Right? Yeah, you're going to get some Rickyisms. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. No, Swindlable's good for your t-shirt. Yeah, why not? Where is my t-shirt? It's coming. We got to take the picture of you for it. We're we're good. It's no pictures. Man, honestly, I was going to wear a mask. I don't even want my face on the internet. Like, I'm a very private person. But I, either Nobody way, go so back to the story. It's okay. There's only four we, people we, that watch the show. So, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you, right? It's true. It's very true. Okay, so we got realtors that are swindlers. Um, yeah. Okay. Hold that on. That are out Hold to on. get you now. They're out to get us. Daryl, they got you too. They oh, got, got you too. They get me daily, bro. I am like, <laughs> I'm like so realtor proof. Real you have no idea. Web here. Daryl, <laughs> Daryl's got every real estate okay. trap set up you you've ever heard of. <laughs> But, but either which way, so the house that we bought, we were making a run at it, right? And then here's the thing I really didn't like about real estate. Who mm -hmm. does the negotiations, TK? Yeah, TK. Who does the negotiations, TK? Well, technically, it's the buyer and the seller who are the ones technically, communicating. Technically, but who's actually talking numbers? Like yeah, the TK. actual communications between the agents. Between the agents. Exactly. Right. So you're a black box. What does that mean? Right? Is that what, what does, does that this mean? Numbers go in, numbers come out. You don't really know what happens in between. It's a black box, right? Uh, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I often wonder like some, what happens. Sometimes what will happen is this. You'll yes. go like, let's say you guys are negotiating, right? Yeah. All right. Daryl, you know, the language he uses, he tells you where to go and then you can shove your off offer, you know, where. <laughs> And then I say, this is a real story, actually. This is so true. And so then when I go to you, Don, I go, you know, my client really loves your house. He thinks it's amazing. <laughs> And, uh, you know, he thought your counter offer was very fair, but he just thought maybe he should make some of these changes in order to try to, you know, make this go a little bit faster. What do you think, Don? Oh, and then, yeah, Don, yeah. you say, you know what? Screw this guy. He's greedy and selfish and, you know, yeah. he can go take a hike. And so I go back to Darrow and I says, you know, just right now, he's just not ready to sign back. You know, he just feels like maybe now's not the right time. He's got a baby and stuff like that. Maybe we should try another offer and see what All we right. could do. You know, this but, is OK. That's my black so box. This is the black box. Yeah. We'll get back to the black box. But hold on, Don. So how do you finish. picture the black box? No, no, no. Let's let's really go through this. So when 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 you picture what's going on there in that in that verbal transaction between agents, what do you see going on? Can I paraphrase it to be quick? We have all the time in the world. Let's get detailed here, bro. Okay. In my mind, it runs like a cartoon. Real estate agents are just little cartoon characters running around trying to get as much money as possible. Buddy goes to him and is like, I know this guy can get his hands on, let's just say half a million dollars. Yeah. That you're buying agents, like they are not looking out for you. You have to know they are not. They're paid on commission. Right. So it's in their best interest to get that price up, not down. Definitely. It up. doesn't. Although I can make a like, point, you know and I mean? think I have, uh, not not that I like realtors, but I have made a good point for why they don't really give a shit if it goes down the price either. It doesn't affect them that much by the time it gets into their pocket. But go ahead with the evil okay, realtor stuff. Okay, so in my little oh, world, TK bites it's his lip over there. It's Mr. Burns and some other cartoon character counting their money, being like, "Let's take them for more." Right? Let's take them for more, like, guys. You know, How do we get this price up? Right. Let's get this right? up. Yeah. How do we get it up? Like, what do they do? What do they say? Yeah. Well, they I'm not, I'm not even like, going to deny that like this I doesn't said, exist because I, I 100 percent have witnessed it. You've witnessed it. I've witnessed so, it. Yeah. Have you called it into the proper authorities when you've witnessed it? Well, when I'm it? the listing yeah, agent yeah. and my clients are benefiting from that buyer sure. paying more money, yeah, so his you just agent let it roll. just wants to get paid. But you see, you know, this okay. is okay. not really okay. something that you want to report. But this is what we've said is the problem from day one is it's like yeah. it's the way that people are smart compensated, contracts. right? We have smart contracts every and and everybody right. just, you know, knew what the rules were. Now they're dumb. Like, comment and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.